And so um, at lambing time, occasionally there is dystochia with lambs. You have to help pull out either because they're too big or the ewes too small or some such problem. And we'll just quickly show the correct placement of lambing ropes. Um, it's important to use a nice uh, thick and soft lambing rope rather than just a bit of binder twine which can dig in and, and cause uh, traumatic injuries to the lamb's leg. So if you make a loop, so if you reach into the U, into the vagina, uh, locate the feet and put the loop of rope um, over the foot and it wants to be up to the mid shaft of the metacarpal. Don't have it just above the hoof here. These bottom joints are quite weak uh, and if you apply traction you can dislocate or even break the leg quite easily. So it wants to be up above these bottom joints to where the shaft narrows, then tighten it on the, on the shaft of the bone and that won't slide off there and it's in a relatively safe position. Occasionally you need to guide the head of the lamb out if the head is back um, or if there's a little bit of a ring wound and the, these are a useful tool. You can just use some thick telephone flex. Um, but reach into the U and you just slide this over the top of the forehead with your fingers and the important thing is to hook it over the two ears just with the finger and if you, you feel round you have it too low down underneath the jaw and you'll strangle the lamb when the sheep's within the ewe's vagina she can't move her head around as much just hold it in there and then you can guide the lamb's head out with some gentle pressure and it's not going to slip back at the crucial moment.